Ah. It only took six months of training to wait for that reset. Anyway, we've read the base ROM description. We don't need to read it again. Dirty Sewer and the Green Switch Palace. Interesting combination again. Uh, that's not annoying. Is that on purpose? Hmm. That is disconcerting to say the least. It's also disconcerting that Tails did nothing. I'm not certain what's going on there. Oh, play your level. I read the wrong part. Sometimes I thought it was change characters. Control successful. Is there wall jumping? No, there's no wall jumping in the base ROM. Thank fuck for that. I'm so sick of wall jumping. Ah, they're up. Up ones. And right ones. And block snake! We just saw one of these. Those are red blocks. How odd. I guess I guess that was telling me it was moving, that there was redirection. And then I'll go bowling. Well, we learned enough about bowling balls prior that uh, I feel confident about getting this. Is that the first one of those I've seen? I really shouldn't have gotten hit there. That was dumb. Okay. That felt incredibly optional. Bonk. Don't know why, but it suddenly reminds me of that uh, OLDC level where you uh, had to get the magic key to make it so that the uh, bonsai bill wouldn't spawn. That was a silly, silly level. Not just since they're a freakish hard on for bowling balls. Ball level design contest. <laughs> That's an interaction. Huh. Oh, there's a bouncy thing down there I can't see. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm glad I have a cape. Ooh, I like that. Alright, they're getting creative here. I was expecting this to just base to be a basic romp, but they're uh, they they're pulling out some stops here. Amusingly, the uh, the phrase "pull out the, all the stops" comes from pipe organ work. Okay. Yeah, this this is more interesting than I was initially led to believe because of the the rompy nature of the first part. I kind of expected that to fall down. If you're going to give me a star, I'm going to take the star. I think every other level you've played, it's a bowling ball up. I shouldn't have pressed down. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if this works. I don't think it's going to work. Um, oh good, good I died, okay. See, that's one of those problems is I have that moderator sense where I always want to go down pipes when I see them. And it kind of gets me in trouble at times. When I'm doing non-moderator things. But that's why I test every single friggin' pipe in standard hacks. Because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm digging this level. 
guess that one didn't require any timing, because he would have moved out of the blocks anyway. I like that obstacle a little bit less on the on the retry. Um, I kind of wish there was a timing component. I don't know how it would have worked, but I kind of wish there was one. If you're gonna give me an option, I'm gonna take a cape this time. Don't press down. Uh, nothing there. I get the vague feeling that... Oh, that's it. That's the whole level. 40. Finally, after going down countless pipes, he finally gets stuck in one. Mario will never be free again. <laughs> um, Yeah, that, that level was pretty good, but really short. Um... Ow. I'm even worse at getting yumps when I, uh, when I have a cape. Let's see how the green Swish Palace affects this a little bit, because that was really short. So my goal was, four, was 20, but I guess we can make it a little bit higher. The problem, of course, being that with level design contests, it's kind of a crapshoot. You never know quite where the difficulty of any given level is going to land. So I could get unlucky and draw something, like, really friggin' hard. But... I've been lucky this evening. I haven't gotten anything too difficult. And I'll keep my, my cape for the time being. You know, there were a lot of smart things I could have done there. That really wasn't one of them. So I'm gonna guess that the uh, getting stuck in the pipe was caused by, like, um, not having a proper exit set up for the pipe. It was like, I don't know where to send Mario, so I guess he's just in the pipe now. But I really don't know how the fast pipe me uh, mechanism works. Fairly certain as far as like ASMs go, that's a relatively old one. But I could be wrong. We got the bubble. The single bubble. And then the bowling balls. So that's the one thing it changes. It makes that easy to get. It gets you, gives you a cape, possibly two capes here. What an odd reduction in difficulty. It feels somewhat superfluous, especially given how the next section works. I want to get the one up. One up! Okay, so that was there. Yeah, I really get the feeling that this level got started and then uh, just kind of ends. Like, you kind of see where where the design philosophy of this person's going. Like, they're getting more creative with... Those are instant death ones, huh? Does that mean... Oh, I guess that means there is a difference between those two. These are the hurt ones and the, uh, the darker ones are... No, those are also instant death. It's all instant death. All, all the way down. Um, but yeah, it, just, it kind of felt like this level was just finding its legs um, when it ended, which is unfortunate. And we will find out if I'm at fault with, with the whistly jump sound. <laughs> This still feels like it could have been an interesting puzzle, but now knowing how it works, it's just kind of silly. Agreed. Hope for a factor of necessity jump half style with all the power-ups in the background. 
yeah. Well, also, like, it ends here. Like, you feel like after you get that box, there's going to be something cool, but then it, there isn't. There's just these donut blocks and this one fish. And that's it. This pipe doesn't even go anywhere. One more try. Big money, big money, no whammies. Ah, 30. Cool on and off womp setup. That was kind of cool till I realized how it worked. How you doing, Oyo? Um, when I realized all you need to do was press both of them and just walk to the left, there's like, there's no puzzle there because the timing doesn't matter. The thwomp will always come out of the blocks. So it looks really cool, but until I did it twice. Since that was a second lap on that level because I was curious how the, the green switch palace affected it and the answer was it really didn't. So. We'll head back into level in a second once I set up my template and remember what number this was. It is 27. 